This is Lewis Giardell here with RxMuscle.com with the Cal Pro figure here with Ruth Silverman on a historic night. In, night. in pro figure. What you pro figure. Historic possibly, I think in all of the IFBB they said, because no one has ever won three shows in one month before. You just tell me Ronnie Coleman never won three shows in one month? I think I think Ronnie Coleman may have eight, eaten three shows in one month. I don't know if he won them. There you go. So anyway, our historic winner is? Kamala Rodriguez. She had three shows one month, four shows one season. What are your thoughts on that? And not only three shows, the cow, the pit, and New York. The three big ones. Well, as you said earlier, she really made the coast-to-coast -coast suite, starting in my hometown of Pittsburgh, just a warm-up, then going to the uh, New York Pro last week, mopping up the floor with everybody, and then coming here and doing the same at the Cal. I think the girl's got a future. What do you think? I think she's definitely, I mean, her goal of breaking the top three at the Olympia could become a reality this year. Absolutely. She really, she's got, you know, dare I say the total package. She's got structure. She's a taller girl. She's got one of those bitty things. So there's some, there's some meat on her, you know. She's got nice small waist. There's not a bad body part on her. She was nicely conditioned, not overly conditioned. She just sort of with what I call the Goldilocks, not too hard, not too soft look. So I thought she was an easy winner here tonight, although it was not an easy show. No, you call it Goldilocks. I call it Chips Ahoy cookies, but that's just me. <laughs> um, yes, it wasn't a, it wasn't a easy show at all. The girls were pretty deep in this show. In fact, I think maybe the six or seven place girls, Susanna Taudi, she could have easily been in that top five too. But fifth place actually went to Julie Meyer, who had an amazing structure, great condition, could have easily gone, you know, as high as third, but. She came in at fifth place, you know, and you can't knock that this lineup. No, you can't. I would say she had a little more muscle than some of the other girls. Then the fourth placer also, the Susanna girl, Toldi, uh, from uh, Slovakia, I believe, got my eye on her. She's just been all of a sudden showing up, turning up into the top five here, the top five there. I think we're going to see some things from her, not to mention, of course, from Julie Meyer. And also the, that fourth place girl, I can't... The coolest name in all the show. Shalico Bradbury. How can you not go wrong with the name Shalico? I think she should get top five just based on her first name. But she also had a good physique. A uh, lovely physique, a little smaller, a little slighter, not not really high, not highly conditioned. But she really looked, everything was good. It flowed, and when it flows, it goes. That's something I was saying about this show. There's a mix of there's people who weren't conditioned, there are people who are right in the middle where you need to be, and then there are people that are hard. And I think it was a little mixture of the people, because this thing you'll see when we talk about second place, a little more conditioning. Right. And as opposed to, say, fourth, a little less conditioning. Right. And then there's the third place person, a species athlete, fellow athlete with Big John Ward. Lovely young woman. A comic book superhero physique in Latoria Watts. Absolutely. I love her body. She reminds me a lot of Letitia Wilder, who was a top pro a couple of years back. Uh, Latoria... Just a little, she's got that, that, the wide lats coming into the smaller waist. Very nice, a lot of nice muscle on her. Probably she could have been a little tighter to finish. She could have finished higher here had she been a little tighter, I think. I said she's about 5, 10% tighter. She could have maybe gotten in that second spot. I don't know if she could have cracked Kamala, but maybe could have cracked Sasha. I, I, that would be exactly my estimation. She could have gotten to second, probably not beating Kamala today. Kamala was spot on. Yeah. And come in second, Sasha Brown. She's got, the way she poses, it looks like she's got a really tiny waist, or, or is it really broad shoulders? I'm not sure. And she may have both. But, yeah, she's really definitely have a, I would say, a dominant upper body. Although the, her legs are nothing to sneeze about. Another girl got some size on. She's got height on her, so she's got some muscle on her. Um, I just think Kamala has her beat in the put together. Kamala has her beat a little structure a little better, especially a little more evenly balanced between upper and lower body. So given them both are coming in good condition, Kamala seemed the easy winner to me. Yeah, Kamala definitely hands down. As soon as she walked out, she had poise. She had the condition. She had the right amount of muscularity. It's hard in figure to get the right amount of conditioning because you have to kind of go right in the center. Anybody can come in off. Right. And a lot of people come in real hard. Right. But it's hard to kind of back it off and not look fat or soft. 
Well, yeah, that's that's exactly why she that's why she's doing so well this month. She obviously also planned her month. She was softer at the Pittsburgh, a little bit more conditioned in New York two weeks later, and now I think she probably was perfect today. And she had to be because this lineup, this lineup was a hard lap. Twenty-seven girls. Seven. Wow, that's that's a big show, and uh, they came from all over. They came from all over the world. That's Susanna. We were just talking about from Slovakia. Hungary. Hungary. Okay. Oh. Hungary. Hungary. All right. And also the gal I'm very impressed with from uh, Sir, uh, Ukraine. From Be Belgrade. Belgrade. Uh, Serbia. Vajda. Serbia. Damn. Her name is Vajda. Her name is Vajda. God, you got me. Dude, you got me. <laughs> yeah, she has a very tiny waist, too. She's, she's, she's like a little miniature bodybuilder, but not too big. Tiny waist, a lot of muscle. Tiny. Very miniature bodybuilder. We are, she is definitely going to make it up, move up the ranks, as will Susanna. Absolutely going to be hearing more from them. Well, here we are on a historic night. Camel up three wins. One month, four wins, one season, along with a great field of figure competitors. Do you have anything else you want to say? I say happy Memorial Day weekend to all. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. This is Louis Sherdell, Louis Silverman, RxMuscle.com.